Hello everyone! So I'm back today and I'm here to talk about a documentary. That is correct. The documentary I'm talking about today is The Disappearance of Cher Height. Now, apparently, documentaries can be very captivating even when the subject matter is not something which, you know, seems at least initially like it's, it's going to keep you engaged or that it's going to be very interesting, right? And that was the case with this one. So the disappearance of Cher Height was very fascinating and, and, and really did keep me on the edge of my seat basically the entire time. Um, and it honestly taught me something about someone who was so controversial and yet oddly, you know, someone who I don't think many people have even ever heard of. Um, and, you know, typically, you know, you hear about these kind of controversial people and, 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 and I feel like not knowing, you know, about someone who was this controversial is, is surprising. So Cher Height was the, was an author and also um, the model for like the Bond girl, I think with Sean Connery. Um, and... This documentary really examines the paradox uh, that is that is kind of the book she wrote, including the Height Report on female sexuality, and also um, and also one of the most the fact that that book kind of made her super controversial, and and then obviously her later on her other I think they talked about two other books she had, um, and the fact that you know she's basically not talked about um, at all or is not a household name or anything close to that. Um, and you would think someone who essentially shot down Freud's entire view on female orgasms would be more popular today, but, you know. Anyways. Also, shout out to Dakota Johnson for just absolutely killing it as the voice of Cher Height when they were narrating her writings because she had a lot of, she wrote a lot and so when they were doing that they had Dakota Johnson kind of just um, you know, read it and oh my god, she, she absolutely killed it. Um, also, so the thing about this documentary which I think made it so captivating was it was funny. You know, like, like there were so many things where just the entire, the entire audience was just laughing and it was just like, oh, cool. Okay, I guess we're doing funny stuff. And I think that was something which was definitely interesting. And I think it was something which, you know, I think, again, I didn't go into this with any expectations. I didn't even read the plot summary prior to this. So I was, I kind of went in completely blind, but I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. And I was like, okay, I guess so. Why not? But yeah, anyways, I highly recommend this one. I think it does really just kind of, sneak in i think this is a sneaky kind of um best of best documentary of the festival for me um and so i'd highly recommend everyone check this out it, it, it was truly incredible um and it was again it was just an interesting story about someone who apparently is very interesting and someone who i've never heard of before so you know with that being said thank you all for watching and see you all next time bye